K-A-R-E, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Now, the Twin Cities' fastest-growing television news. News 11, with Paul Majors, Diana Pierce, Tom Reiter on sports, and meteorologist Paul Douglas. Good evening, Tommy. Tonight's News 11. Hundreds of layoffs will be taking place at Unisys plants around the state. Unisys is the newly formed company that came out of the merger between Burroughs and Sperry. News 11 first reported the imminent layoffs last night. Today, they were made public. 390 employees will lose their jobs at Unisys facilities here in the Twin Cities. On top of that, 280 workers will be laid off at the Unisys plant in Jackson, Minnesota. News 11's Alan Costantini has more on the layoffs and how they'll affect the Twin Cities. There were some somber faces among the workers changing shifts this afternoon at Unisys plants around the Twin Cities metro area. Those leaving knew what had happened inside. The mood is a little down, but you know we are glad it's over. And we knew it was coming, so a lot of people were sort of prepared for it. Those arriving hoped the cuts did not affect them. The cutbacks announced today affect managers, technical staff, clerical staff, and supervisors. Union employees will get their notices tomorrow. The company is offering some job placement services to as many of those laid off as possible. The cutbacks will leave Unisys with a total workforce of over 12,000 in Minnesota. Some of the workers we talked with were sympathetic to the need to streamline the newly merged company. Well, they had to consolidate, you know, it goes without saying, I guess. You think it was inevitable? Oh, sure, yeah. But others told us they wonder what else is in store for Unisys down the road. Alan Costantini, News 11, Roseville. Union workers who are laid off tomorrow will actually leave their jobs on Friday. Non-union workers were laid off at the end of their shift today. Some good news tonight for workers on Minnesota's Iron Range. A two-month shutdown at the Hibbing Taconite Company will end just after the first of the year with full production resuming shortly thereafter. The plant closed down last month, idling 600 workers. Company officials say they don't expect any layoffs once operations start up. 14,000 workers for Northwest Airlines will have to come under one union, so says the National Mediation Board. Since the merger with Republic, Northwest workers have been represented by three different unions. A winner-take-all election will be held next fall to determine who will represent the workers. In St. Paul today, charges of second-degree murder against an 18-year-old man involved in the death of a severely handicapped woman this weekend. In court today, David Allen Mortensen was also charged with criminal sexual assault. Allegedly, Mortensen forced sex on 33-year-old Nancy Jean Kadyuma, then left her to die in her apartment. Bail was set today at $50,000. Tonight, Mortensen remains behind bars at the Ramsey County Jail. The State Court of Appeals has ruled that a Minnesota man is the legal father of a child, even though he's not the biological father. The decision, which was filed today, rules that Robert Clay is the legal father of a five-year-old boy. That ruling, despite the fact that blood tests showed he's not the biological father of the child. The case stems from a custody suit brought before the court. Tonight, a Hennepin County grand jury has decided it will not file charges against Minneapolis Urban League President Ron Edwards or against any other member of the Minneapolis Urban League. This following allegations that Edwards had taken money from the organization to pay personal legal fees. However, tonight, Minneapolis police say they may still decide to file separate charges. A Maple Grove woman who had 22 dogs taken from her home last week faces neglect charges tonight. The dogs were removed from a kennel run by 79-year-old Katherine Erickson. Police and Humane Society workers say the dogs were not cared for properly, and today seven charges were filed against Erickson. They range from neglect of animals to operating a kennel without a license. Special honors for a young Maplewood woman. Last year, Claire Seipel pulled a 57-year-old man from the bottom of a swimming pool, and she saved his life with CPR. Today, Seipel's bravery was recognized as she was presented the top honor given out by the Red Cross, an award signed by President Reagan. Thank you on behalf of Mr. and Mrs. Howard. Thank you on behalf of the American Red Cross and the St. Paul chapter. And thank you on behalf of the President of the United States. Very nice Very for her. Nice. Coming up on News 11, you won't see any more ads for fake Santa prayers. Also coming up, imagine being able to have a whole store to yourself for Christmas shopping. The story when News 11 continues.
comes to nuts, the Blue Bunny knows if you want to find the best, take it from the pros. Prime nuts, beady nuts, crunchy nuts, too, to make a nutty ice cream flavor for you. Almonds. Slow roasted, crisped in a butter sugar glaze and surrounded by swirls of thick caramel sauce in the Bunny's rich vanilla ice cream. Almondine praline. You'll go nuts. How do you the Blue Bunny no trick to it? Open up a carton, dig in, and do it. Whales. Get your taste buds hopping. Song sung blue, everybody knows one. This is FM 94, WAYL. Playing your favorite songs of yesterday and today in a nice, relaxing way. WAYL FM 94, where the listening is always easy. Toro announces the dawn of a new era in snow throwers. The new Toro CCR 2000, with a curved rotor designed to handle big snow, even wet snow. Built to bite deep into drifts and put snow wherever you want it. Built to throw snow like no other snow thrower, up to 30 feet. The new Toro CCR 2000. It's the dawn of a new era in snow throwers. Save on Toro's hot-selling CCR 2000 while they last at these Toro dealers. holidays with Perkins Belgian waffles their music to your mouth some shoppers in Duluth got a chance to get their Christmas presents today without having to fight the usual holiday crowds as News 11's Christy Arf reports from our Duluth Bureau the Target store there set aside special shopping hours for senior citizens traffic outside Target was a little less than usual, but the shoppers inside were extra special. Uh, you. Senior citizens and disabled people got the VIP treatment. They had the store to themselves to wrap up their Christmas shopping and to have a little fun. Oh, I think that's just lovely when they do that. I like that. I like to see these people come in the wheelchairs and get taken care of for their needs that they wouldn't otherwise be able to do. I never win anything. <laughs> the hustle and bustle of most shoppers is just too fast-paced for some older people. This lets them slow the Christmas rush just a bit. Christy Art, News 11, the Duluth Bureau. The Target store in Duluth has held Senior Citizens Day for the last 10 years. Dayton's and their popular Santa Bear have been saved from an apparent rip-off ploy. Last month, Action 11's Mike Igo told you about these imitation Santa Bears that began to pop up. The state attorney general even got into the case. As it turns out now, that New York firm which markets the bears will stop advertising them. In the ad, the imitations look almost identical to the real Santa Bear. Leave sure it to somebody it. in New York, huh? <laughs> Paul Douglas is right over by the News 11 Christmas tree right now. You have a, a legitimate Santa it's Bear real in your thing. Hand. Yeah. The real McCoy. See if you can see the meteorologist in this picture. Take a look at this sea of toys I am submerged in. They're literally piled up to the rafters. I'm not sure where we're going to put them tomorrow. We want to show you some of the toys stacked up behind the news set. Look at that. There's a news set in there somewhere. Thousands and thousands of toys. We will be collecting those toys up until Friday and then we give them to the Marine Corps for distribution. You still have some time left to drop off your toys here at TV 11 in Golden Valley. Our address, as always, 8811 Olson Memorial Highway in Golden Valley. Scores of people stopped in again today. We thank you. If you haven't, you still have a couple of days left up until Friday. Paul and Kirsten, that'll do it. All right. All right. Thank you very much. You bet. Coming up on News 11, hard times for a giant farm equipment maker. Also coming up, the season looks bright for retailers dealing, dealing in Christmas decorations. The story in dollars and cents. announces terrific savings on tools just in time for Christmas. Shop Menards now to save on names you know, like Wen, Skill, Black & Decker, Stanley, and more. Menards has tools for everyone on sale now, from hobby tool sets to professional shop tools. 
Save on air tools at Menards, gift sets, and more, all on sale. For the handyman on your list, choose tools at Menards and save. Boy, season's greetings to you all from Menards. Buy a recliner, get a swivel rocker free from Wix Furniture. Just choose one of these comfortable recliners for only $299.99. The coordinating swivel rocker of $199.99 value is free. Or choose this beautiful recliner for just $399.99 and get this $249.99 swivel rocker free. Two styles to choose from. Each style features a choice of two colors. Buy the recliner, get the swivel rocker free. Unexpected quality, spectacular savings. Wix, surprisingly Wix. Celebrate the holidays in style with Holiday Stemware from Arby's. They're yours for a special price when you buy a medium or large soft drink. Fill these beautifully etched glasses right up to their 22 karat gold rim. So, however you celebrate the holidays, celebrate in style with Holiday Stemware from Arby's. Holly glasses are 89 cents each when you buy a medium or large soft drink. See your participating Ford dealer now and get a holiday bonus. Special cash incentives from Ford Credit to your dealer make it possible to lower your monthly payments with special low red carpet lease holiday terms. Or your Ford dealer has the option to lease you a select new Ford without you paying the first month's lease payment and or security deposit. Drive a new Ford Escort, LTD, Crown Victoria, or Ford Temple and save your holiday cash. But hurry, special holiday red carpet lease terms are available only through December 31st at your Northland Ford dealer. Around 11 country tonight, some holiday records are being broken in Alexandria. This is the world's largest Christmas stocking. The 17-foot stocking will be filled with food to be distributed to needy people in the area. Townspeople hope the stocking will make its way into the Guinness Book of World Records. In Duluth, tourists who visit the Glensheen Mansion this week will be treated to a display of 14 gingerbread houses. The creations are part of a contest in Duluth. Winners with the best display will be announced sometime next week. And in Brooklyn Center, Christmas music. Members of the Brooklyn Center High School Choir put on a short holiday performance today. Let's take a listen. You were, from you were great. I just want to say Saturday, the Alleluia Chorus, Handel's Messiah, Handel's Messiah in uh, the Ordway, it was unbelievable. Paul got a standing ovation. You and I have that chorus down, right? <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were flipping pages. Voice. We didn't know we where were, we were. We were bumbling along, trying to listen to the other people, with no one to sing. You have to decide whether you're going to sing bass mm -hmm. or tenor or alto. Mm -hmm. I was trying to like sing all three. I was singing soprano and bass. It was a little rough. What did you sing? I was totally lost. <laughs> Paul, yeah. real frank. Really? Paul hummed silently, but he mm -hmm. was great. I threw in a couple ramalama ding dongs. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, that was my favorite part too. I hate it when you do that. <laughs> in public too. I hate it when you. Anyway, do that. let's check the map. Show you how cold it is. It is indeed a blistering evening. Temperatures falling through the single numbers. One below right now. Up in Bemidji, two below in Thief River. Tonight will probably wind up being the coldest night of the winter. It's still autumn. The coldest night of autumn so far. Look at the flurries. They continue to fall, especially over the Arrowhead parts of northern Wisconsin. This is only half the story. Factor in the winds gusting up to 20, 25 miles an hour, and you have wind chills of 20 to 30 below, even as cold as 40 below over the Dakotas. Now, these are serious wind chills. These are the sorts of temperatures where if you're outside for more than four or five minutes, exposed flesh can start to become frostbitten. If an area of skin becomes discolored, if it becomes yellowish, if it starts to tingle or become numb, those are the first warning signs of frostbite. Take it seriously, especially if you're a little bit older, the elderly and the very young most susceptible to frostbite on a light like tonight. Well, if you are heading out, climb into your warmest outfit. The good news is it can't stay this cold for long, and it won't. It's going to thaw out a little bit. Temperatures probably warming up into the 20s by Friday. Some changes on the way. Sorry, skiers, snow lovers, still no monster snowstorms in sight. We'll keep looking, though. Earlier today in the backyard, enough sunshine for an afternoon high temperature. It was chilly out there. We only got up to 14 degrees this afternoon, a low of 8. That coming this hour, a trace of snow. Here's your sunrise and set. In the back here now, partly cloudy, 8 whopping degrees, a west wind at 18 miles an hour. The wind chill 25 below, the humidity 72, and the barometer 3010, and on the rise. 
Let's crank up the weather machine since breakfast time this morning. You can see an ominous cloud bulge moving into the northeast, producing lots of snow, rain, and ice. And for us, there's an upper air disturbance, what meteorologists call a cutoff low. It's drifting overhead, and it's squeezing out what little moisture there is overhead. And the result, a few flurries and snow showers. They will continue over the next few hours. The latest weather map you can see right now, a strong atmospheric squeeze play between this low pressure system and a big fair weather high ridging into the Plain States. As this high drifts overhead tomorrow, the winds will diminish. The sun will be out. And even though it's going to be a chilly day, I think it's going to feel a little more tolerable tomorrow as the winds diminish to about 10 miles an hour. On super radar, you can see the storm that blitzed the east with serious icing. They had to uh, really close some airports in parts of the northeast, places like Albany and Syracuse and even Boston. They saw glaze ice, a couple of inches of snow in parts of Vermont and New Hampshire. That storm moving away from us. To get a major snowstorm, our winds are going to be, have to be blowing from Texas or New Mexico. We just don't see that happening for at least the next four to six days. Check out some of these afternoon highs. Single numbers and teens over the upper Midwest. That'll be the story again tomorrow. Much of the southeast boasting 70s and 80s. A chunk of this Pacific area is going to try to come over a ridge of high pressure and spill into Pennsylvania and parts of the northeast. And even Minnesota could see a little bit of that warmth long about Friday. But again, no signs of any serious warming for the next few days. The map tomorrow is going to show a sunny start. Another Alberta clipper diving southeastward, producing some light snow and flurry activity. But no biggies in sight. The 11 outlook for tonight, it's going to be a cold one. Wind chills 20 to 40 below. The flurries give way to some clearing. A low about three below in the cities, maybe seven or eight below outside of town. Plenty of sun tomorrow, a high of 9 to 14 with some light nighttime snow. And your 11 outlook flurries Thursday. Look at those temperatures. A good 10 to 15 degrees colder than normal. Clouds increase on Saturday with a high up to 20 degrees. We'll keep searching for the thaw and searching for the snow. A lot of skiers would like to have a big pile of the white stuff. We don't see it in the next couple of days at least. Paul and Kirsten. All righty. Thank you very much. You bet. Big money problems tonight for one of the country's largest makers of farm equipment. Joan Stefan has the details in tonight's Dollars and Cents. Joan. Well, you're right. John Deere is one of the biggest names in farm equipment. And tonight, Deere and Company announces some big losses for the fiscal year. Deere says losses for 1986 totaled a record $229 million. $140 million in losses were reported for the fourth quarter alone. The Moline, Illinois-based firm has been in the midst of a strike for over three months. The Supreme Court today approved a major merger between XL Corporation and Spencer Beef of Arden Hills. That's a division of Land O'Lakes. The 1983 merger between the meat companies had been challenged by a Colorado firm, which argued the deal was in violation of antitrust laws. Wall Street continues to back away from the magic 2000 mark. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closed down more than 13 points at 1960-90 today. Volume was more than 128 million shares. A St. Paul landmark will soon be getting a new look. The 98-year-old St. Paul building is set to undergo over $5 million in renovations, which include a new roof, a penthouse, and a new restaurant. Part of the cost for the facelift will come from revenue bonds issued by the St. Paul Port Authority. And it's that time of year again to start pulling on all the old Christmas decorations and also going out to buy some. News 11's Jeanette Harrison says the sales of Christmas lights and accessories looks bright this season. Even without calendars and cold weather, the cheery winking lights tell the story. Christmas is coming. Christmas outdoor lights and decorations seem to be sweeping the Twin Cities this year, and store managers say customers are looking for color. They want something a little bit more brighter than they, they normally have. A lot of people had the old traditional ceramic lights for a long time. Now they're looking for something brighter, a little bit more showy. Many people buying outdoor decorations say they're doing it for the first time. I've got five children and they like Christmas lights and it's cheerful. And with the increase in popularity, people also seem to be willing to spend a little more. For example, this $40 Santa Claus is not nearly as popular as this charming animated Russian princess. Her price tag, $130. Store owners say they may have the recent baby boom to thank for the increase in sales. Many customers, they say, are new homeowners with young families or grandparents lighting up their houses to light up the faces of the grandkids. Jeanette Harrison, News 11, St. Paul. And Christmas means the end of the year isn't far away, and there are some things you can do now to cut down on your taxes. For one thing, the new tax law going into effect on January 1st will mean fewer miscellaneous deductions, so you might want to make job-related purchases now while you have a better chance of deducting them. For example, buy a briefcase for your job or a computer if you use it because you take work home. Or, Paul and Kirsten, you can buy a uniform, but probably not you, huh? Yeah.
Maybe new TVs. <laughs> it's a good we idea. We just swipe a couple from around here and we wouldn't have to spend <laughs> the money for anyway. yourself. <laughs> Better plan. Thanks, Joan. You bet. Coming up, it's that special time of the year at the U of M, finals. And in sports, we'll get a huge taste of humble pie. Tom Ryder will serve that up when we come right back. Howdy, I'm Barry Zavan for TV 11. In just a few seconds, we'll be making another cash on an 11 phone call. The clue to remember for this call is tip. The amount is $111. It's retiring Speaker of the House Tip O'Neill's birthday, but not his 111th. Don't go away. We may be calling you. This Christmas, get something special. Like special savings from Santa from Mills Fleet Farm. Coming out of Fleet Farm for special savings on extra special gifts that would make even Santa envious. Like this Turco gas grill with twin burners, side shells, removable cutting board, and more for just $124.99. Keep beverages hot and fresh with a thermos brand coffee butler, only $15.99 in your choice of assorted colors. And something new at Fleet Farm, handsome pair of men's dress slacks, now just $15.99. But hurry. You'll find special savings from Santa this week only at the store where your dollar buys more, Mills Fleet Farm. Take a steak break. Your brown brown got him. Take a steak break. At a dollar off. Take a steak break. Oh, so thick and juicy. Take a steak break. Take a steak break. Brown brown got him. Sizzling up the grill. Take a steak break. Give you such a thrill. Take a steak break. Cook the way you like it. Take a steak break. Take a steak break. Now until December 12th at participating ground rounds. Take a steak break. Take a steak break. When an urgent package leaves your hands, make sure the hands you leave it in can deliver. Express Mail Overnight Service from your post office delivers over city, over state, overnight, over whatever stands in the way. Over 97% of the time and climbing for about half what most others charge. Two pounds, just 10.75. Express Mail Overnight Service. When we say overnight, we mean overnight. When you see the prices during Creative Lighting semi-annual sale, you may want to throw away every lamp in your house. Creative Lighting, open Monday and Thursday till 9. Okay, we have Mrs. Gross on the line from Scandia, Minnesota. Do you know the clue in the amount, Mrs. Gross? Um, 1100 Um, I really don't know. Well, that's, that's fairly close, no. <laughs> Not really, but uh, thanks for playing anyway. We'll put your name back in the drum, and uh, don't worry, we may call you again. And uh, thanks for watching Cash in 11. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. We make two calls Monday through Friday. Be watching. Send in those postcards. Box 111, Minneapolis. A milestone has been reached for an area school. The Breck School in Golden Valley today celebrated its 100th birthday, and to celebrate the occasion, a 550-pound, 10-foot-tall birthday cake was brought in. Breck, a co-ed prep school for preschoolers through grade 12, was founded in Wilder, Minnesota, back in 1886. Congratulations mm -hmm. to Breck. They do a good job of educating students. Yeah, they didn't even send over a piece of cake, though. Didn't that look good? Well, you never know. Maybe one will slide in later oh, in the week. You have pretty some good. football news. For That's right. right. Pretty good news for a former intern we have here mm -hmm. at the News 11. As a matter of fact, from the Vikings today, former gopher linebacker Jeff Shue has been signed. He was waived last week by Green Bay. Now, Jeff is a former intern here at News 11 Sports, and we wish him very uh, good luck with the Minnesota Vikings. And quarterback Steve Bono, his luck is not quite so good. He's been waived again. Also out of the NFL, Cincinnati Bengals president Paul Brown is saying that his coach, Sam Weish, may be in trouble as a result of several outbursts recently. The last one came November 30th when Weiss went after a reporter in Denver, and we have gotten our hands on Weiss's apology and the reporter's response. Here is the incident at Denver. Get him out of here. Get him out. The interview's over unless you get him out. That was just uncalled for and not right, no good, and I try to live a Christian life, friend, and I don't like having to, you know, uh, having to be uh, that way, but uh, I fall short sometimes, and I sure did then. I think it's now up to the NFL and to the team to decide if further action should be taken. Denver police officers who witnessed the attack advised me that assault charges could be filed, civil action could be taken. I think it's now up to the NFL and to the team to decide what to do. 
eating humble pie, they call that. The North Stars will try to move back into a first place tie when they host Wayne Gretzky and the Edmonton Oilers tonight at the Met. And the North Stars at the workout this morning, an unlikely visitor, Dave Winfield of the New York Yankees. Winfield in town visiting family and friends, but also mixing a little business with the trip. Today at the Met, he dropped in on Wayne Gretzky to talk over some business. Dave will also find time, or he did find time, I should say, to talk with our Steve Carroll about the chances of becoming a Minnesota twin. This is home, but, and I don't like to say it's not the right time or anything, but uh, let's, we'll always keep it in mind. Dave would like to come here when he's about 90 for $3 million a year. The State of Oklahoma Historical Society received a special gift today from the children of Jim Thorpe. Now, this great athlete was a member of the Sac Indian Tribe of Oklahoma. He went on to win two gold medals as the 1912 big star there in the Olympics at Stockholm, Sweden. He later became pro football's first major star. The uh, Oklahoma Historical Society now has those two gold medals from the 1912 Olympics and a lot of memories from their great Jim Thorpe. Larry Bird of the Boston Celtics and Roger Clemens of the Boston Red Sox are the UPI co-athletes of the year. Boxer Mike Tyson and tennis star Martina Navratilova were far back in the voting. But uh, something else for Boston to cheer about. They say that when Thorpe was given the medals from the King of Sweden at the time, his response was, thanks, King. <laughs> hey, pal, thanks a lot. Simple and Two gold ones. Forward. Thanks, right. Tommy. It's time for final exams at the University of Minnesota. Many students haven't slept much in the past few days while they cram for the all-important exams. News 11's Amy Powell tells us most students can't wait until it's over. Write your name across the top of the test form also, please. There were a few last-minute instructions, and then 180 heads bowed in concentration. You could almost hear the gears of their brains turning as the students searched their memory banks hoping that hours of study and preparation for this final exam would pay off. She might say something about can be as a comedy or tragedy. Most students around the university campus today had their noses buried in books and notes. John Simon teamed up with a friend to study for his humanities final, his second final of the day. I studied for both of them last night, and it's good that I have this time in between because I needed this a lot. Freshmen Linda Nowak and Tracy Cruz were preparing for a physics final. Both had a calculus final yesterday. It took me the whole time, but I did it. It's over with. I think I did good. The students may not know all the answers on their exams, but none had any trouble answering the question of what they'll do when this week is over. Sleep a lot. Hopefully do some skiing. Celebrate. <laughs> and put the books away for a while. Amy Powell, News 11, at the University of Minnesota. A few final words on the weather now. Boy, I don't miss the finals. The forecast for tonight, a low of minus 3 in the city, 6 below in the suburbs, a wind chill of about 30 to 40 below. Tomorrow's high, 12 under sunshine. Tom? All right, Paul, we have the North Stars in Edmonton playing tonight and a lot of high school sports. We'll have all that tonight. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at 10. Have a good evening. King presents new French Toast Sticks for breakfast. Have a French Toast Stick, Nick. Ooh, the dip is sweet pea. The taste is great, so don't be late. Get French Toast Sticks to go. Burger King presents the AM Express Breakfast to go. Tasty golden brown French Toast Sticks with a rich, thick dip. They're right at your fingertips, Skip. French Toast Sticks to go. Those French Toast Sticks are going fast. Get a package of four for 99 cents. Just 99 cents for tasty French Toast Sticks at Burger King. Celebrate that dinner's done.